Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. Um, thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel and for following me through my journey. I've been um, doing this since October last year and if you've assisted me on your spiritual journey also, I really sincerely thank you for that. Um, thanking my new subscribers and all the comments and likes to my page and the private readings. So thank you for, for that. It means a lot to me. Now I'm doing a reading uh, for the new moon solar eclipse and this is um, in the sign of Aquarius on the 15th of February and uh, here at Oz tomorrow and being in the sign of Aquarius this is about freedom this is about ex uh, exploring uh, and going on an adventure going your own way about things being unique and independent and this is um, being encouraged now and through to the next six months. So it's marking the time of breaking out of old routines and habits and patterns that you've got and maybe trying something different as your old ways are no longer serving you. And with all the planets that still are in direct mo uh, motion, so they're going forward with this new eclipse, a new eclipse, sorry. And... Um, it's about um, embracing a new mindset and uh, we've got the Sun and Moon conjuncting Mercury and this is about um, activating your intelligence and your wisdom, thinking things through with clarity before you rush into any decisions and embracing your new mindset that you put into play. We've got Uranus sextiling the Sun, Moon and Mercury in conjuncting this so this is about receiving news that's exciting having conversations with stimulating people um, you've got the freedom of choice and also um, it's about being excited about trying something new and fresh we've got Mars squaring Neptune uh, which is about um, your energy being lessened with Mars wanting to go within into Neptune's um, territory it's going to wake up your spiritual gifts and um, philosophies and then we have the sun and moon squaring jupiter so this is about expansion and it's also about being grateful for your new opportunities and adventures that you're embarking on and being thrilled about being or your new found independence and being able to explore things in a way that you've never had before then we have the Venus, the planet of love. Um, it's sexual to Saturn. So this is about you wanting companionship, um, Capricorn. And this is about couples maybe taking things to the next commitment. It's a deeper level of commitment. And also you wanting to be loved for who you are, not what other people expect you to be. And it's also um, beneficial to your finances um, where you can take that more seriously and aim for your future maybe some are aiming for their retirement so it's being a bit more serious about your finances so the theme will impact you for the next six months and the next eclipse cycle is july and august this year we're in a new birth um, moment so we're still in the uh, 11 universal year which is about double new beginnings now I've picked the card from the Lenormand deck as the underlying issue is the key here and this is about what is needed, what is important to you and what is significant um, around this period of time. This is a uh, success card, it's about your destiny, it's spiritual guidance with the divine and um, it's the aha moment so it's about you having great ideas and finding solutions to solve um, situations or people. And we have the moon in Capricorn in your second house, and this is in your house of income and money. And we have the scythe in the reading, and this is about uh, making decisions um, that are not going to be emotional. <clears throat> um, you've cut something off just recently, so it could have been a person or a situation. For some it could be a job, or for some it could be romance, and this has caused a lot of burdens. If you're bringing the energies of the crossing here and that's about burdens and feeling sad it's also about having faith as well and you've got the um, card of the fox and this is your day job this is what puts food on your table your nine to five job 
Um, it's also a card of lies and deception. And we have the card of the heart here. And this is about you being passionate about a job or your partner. So um, maybe for some there was, um, you've cut off a partner in the past. And maybe this was a destined love of yours and there was a lot of lies and deception around this. And for others it could be um, that you were terminated from a job or resigned from a job and this has caused a lot of burdens in your relationship and you're trying to um, harvest the relationship again. Now with the, um, the moon in Capricorn in your second house, and because it's in your house of income and money, it's about you nurturing um, what you want to achieve. So it's about being dedicated and what you believe in. And with the moon, it's about your um, deep emotions. And this is um, the feelings that you're focusing on, what you value most of all. So maybe some of you have um, cut off a relationship or been terminated for a job and you're finding out your relationship is more what you value than your job was. Um, and this is the reactions that <clears throat> um, is resulting by rules that you've imposed because of your resources. So maybe um, you've spent your resources and it's just not sitting with the energies of your partner. Now I'm just going to turn these over and see if they have a message for you. So this is about defending your goals and you need to be patient Capricorn when it comes to doing this um, and don't rush into things it's about accepting how you live uh, day to day and the real reality of what you want so it's about taking time to really think things through about what you want to achieve and it's about letting your feelings tell you how to um, do business in the most business-like way so you get what you need so it's about not butting heads with people and um, maybe getting clarity before you, you move forward in that area of your life. Now I have pulled a card from the Animal Tarot deck and this is the Five of Autumn. It's the Manatee. And if you notice this um, Manatee is heavy. So this what's maybe what's slowing you down in some way. But it's... Um, saying that you're focusing upon a, a negative situation or you're just worrying about money or your career and this is going to block your progress capricorn so you need to have trust and faith like i said with the um the crossing here because you're at a low point right now it's not the best time to start your own business if you uh, become unemployed or it's not a good time for you to become self-employed so you need to be patient and sit and think things through um, positively and I've pulled a card from the angel wisdom deck and we have noticed the sign so if you've been walking and noticed coins or feathers in your path it means that the angels are sending you this from heaven and they are actually um, looking over you They're just a reminder that you're loved and never alone so don't feel uh, burdened that you're by yourself now I just want to pull um, Another, oh, I just want to pull some more cards from the Lenormand deck because underneath I have uh, the crossroads which is about opportunities and uh, you facing a decision Capricorn. So when it comes next to the clover, this is about opportunities presenting themselves which is unexpected and the luck that comes with the clover only lasts a few days so you need to jump on that with the horse here. Um, jump on it before it, it passes you by with the rider here so it's either a new situation or a new person coming into your life it's going to offer you an opportunity and um, it is to do with money with a fish underneath so I hope this has been beneficial for you um, just make sure you notice the signs and know that the angels are with you on your journey um, they're sending you reminders to let you know that you're loved and never alone and it's just asking you to be patient while you think things through thoroughly and maybe come up with some new ideas well i hope this has been beneficial for you capricorn i will be back with your march romance reading take care now